Welcome in to NFL on 365 Sports. I'm your host, Grayson Grunhafer, and today we are talking about the divisional rounds. I'm gonna give you some good bets for this week, some of my predictions for the week, and let's just talk about some football. So, uh, recap of last week, I went six and three last week. It was a pretty good week. I was good on my picks, but I was not good on my over-unders. Uh, I got the under 49 and a half on Bucks versus uh, Philadelphia. Uh, also had the Bucks to cover, got both of those. 49ers plus three and a half versus the Cowboys. That was correct. The Niners actually won that game. Uh, we're up big. It ended up being a really close game at the end. I got the Rams minus four over the Cardinals. That was a pretty easy one when it was all said and done. Uh, Bengals winning. Bills covering the four points against the Patriots. Another blowout there. Missed on Steelers plus 12 and a half as they got pummeled by the Chiefs. Um, missed on Bengals Raiders over 49. Uh, that was a bad bet on my side of things. Also missed on over 49 and a half for the Cardinals and the Rams. It was close, but not quite 49 and a half. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a recap of how we did last week. So moving on to this week, lots of intriguing matchups. Um, and I would say that these first two games on Saturday, I, I have a much better feel for than the Sunday games. Uh, the first game of the weekend, 3.30 p.m., Central Time on um, CBS. It's going to be the Tennessee Titans taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. This is in Nashville. Titans are a three and a half point favorite, 47 over under, 47 point over under. Uh, both teams four and one in their last five. Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Joe Mixon, uh, T. Higgins. It makes them, you know, the Bengals really appealing to pick. You know, they won last week, beat the Raiders. Um, but here's kind of my philosophy in the playoffs a lot of times. Last week, I felt like the worst team in the NFL was the Steelers in, in the playoff picture, at least, and the Steelers got pummeled. Um, I think this week, Cincinnati is getting far too much credit. The Titans are a really good team. They might be getting Derrick Henry back, and they're only a three-and-a-half-point favorite. I'm taking the Titans. I think the Bengals are the worst team left in the playoffs, and I know Joe Burrow is a great story. This offense is really good, but... I don't see the Bengals stopping Derrick Henry in the run game or Donta Foreman, whoever is playing. I don't see them stopping the run. I think Tannehill will be good enough. Um, I like the Titans to win this game. I think they'll cover the three and a half uh, point spread. As far as the over under goes, it's over under is 47 points. That's a tough number. If I had to pick one, I would go with the over though in this game. Moving on to 715 that night. Uh, the Packers take on the 49ers. The 49ers are traveling to Lambeau. Uh, the Niners are playing some really, really good football. They continue to ride this momentum wave they've had in the second half of the season. They beat the Cowboys um, last week. But going into this one, the Packers are six-point favorites, 47.5 point over under. Um, Two-degree weather is kind of what they're projecting in Lambeau in, uh, in this game. So that's going to be really cold. Both teams like to run the football, um, but for me, this all comes down to the quarterback. I think Jimmy G is going to make too many mistakes. I think Aaron Rodgers will end up uh, being able to propel the Packers to a win. Uh, but if I had to put a bet on it, I would actually go with the 49ers plus the points, so plus six, um, and I would take the under here. I, I think 47 and a half um, in two degree weather is kind of a lot to add. I think this could be a defensive game. Um, both teams playing really solid defense at this point in the season. So I'll go with uh, 49ers plus six and the 47 and a half point under, but I would pick the Packers to ultimately win this game. On Sunday, 2 p.m., the Rams travel to Tampa Bay to take on the Buccaneers. Tampa Bay, a three point favorite in this one, uh, 48 and a half over under. Ah, this is a tough one. I kind of want no part of this game, but if I had to pick a side, I would go with the Rams plus three. Um, they looked really good against the Cardinals, so to get points here, I feel pretty good about. The Bucks without Antonio Brown and Chris Godwin, I just think it's finally going to catch up to them in this game. Um, I like the Rams. I think Matthew Stafford keeps things rolling. Uh, Cooper Cup, Odell Beckham Jr., the emergence of Cam Akers, who somehow is playing a major role you know, after having 
off-season Achilles surgery. It's really incredible to see what he's done. I think he's only going to get better. I think the Rams are going to win this game, so I'll take them plus the points. As far as the over-under goes, this is where I'm a little bit torn. So 48 and a half, it's a lot of points, but I think both these teams are going to be able to score some. So I'm going to go with the over here. I actually think this will be the highest scoring game of the weekend. Um, It's going to be close because the one after it will probably have some points as well, Uh, but I'll go with the over here. The final game on Sunday, the Buffalo Bills travel to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. Uh, Kansas City is a two-point favorite. Uh, Over-under is 55 points, a lot of points here. Um, Both teams playing really well. I mean, we saw the Chiefs dismantle the Steelers, and we saw the Bills just absolutely thrash uh, the New England Patriots. So I'm really struggling with this game. I think both teams are really good. I honestly think these are the two best teams in the AFC which makes it really difficult for me to project this game. Um, But, and gosh, it's so hard to pick against the Chiefs. It really is. But I think overall, I think the Bills are a better football team. And I think they're going to show it. The Bills beat them earlier in this season. I think they're going to do it again. Um, I'll go with the Bills plus the points. So Bills plus two. I'm going to take the under 55 because I do think both defenses play pretty well in this game. But ultimately... I think the Bills are a more complete team. They're finding a little bit of a run game. Josh Allen is a powerful runner. Um, I like what they're doing offensively, and I like the way their defense has stepped up uh, in recent weeks. And I know you know, the Chiefs defense is playing really well also. And it, it's really tough to see these two teams playing in the divisional round because I really do think this should be an AFC championship type matchup. It's not going to be. It's just the way that it is. And so because of that, I, I just I really I have a feeling here that the Bills are going to get this done um, and go ahead and move on to the AFC championship game. So if my projections are correct. I think it will be Titans versus Bills in the AFC championship and the Packers versus the Rams in the NFC championship. It's going to be a really fun weekend. Lots of interesting storylines going into these games. A lot of really good games. I think there's going to be a lot of competitive games uh, this weekend, whereas last week there were a few kind of sleepers uh, that, that just really weren't very good at all. So more playoff football, more fun this weekend. It should be a great time. And I'll talk to you next weekend with some updates and also uh, my projections for the NFC and AFC championship as well as my Super Bowl picks. But until then, this has been Grayson Grunhafer on NFL on 365 Sports.